Hey, we're the Middle Georgia State Knights soccer team. And we're going to teach you how to play soccer. Teach you how to play. The setup. Besides the referee and the linesman, there are 22 players on the field. 11 players are from the Knights, and 11 players are from the opposing team. The 11 players on each team consist of the goalkeeper, the defenders, the midfielders, and the forwards. The goalkeeper stands near the goal and prevents the opposing team from scoring. The defenders do not have possession of the ball and assist with preventing the opposing team from scoring. The midfielders are located between the defenders and the forwards and help with breaking up attacks. The forwards aim to score a goal. The scoring. If a knight wants a point, then they will have to score a goal. It's that simple. If a knight scores a goal, then they get one point. How to play. A match is played into two 45 minute halves. A representative from each team will flip a coin to see which team will defend which goal. In the game, the goalkeeper is the only one who can touch the ball with their hands. The other knights are not allowed. Knights must use their feet, head, or other body parts to pass the ball. Pay close attention to how the Knights pass the ball to score. Like basketball, Knights soccer players dribble the ball down the field to score. Pay close attention to the different ways the Knights dribble. The basic way to dribble, the side dribble, and the foundation dribble. The objective of soccer is to score a goal, which can be achieved by kicking or heading a ball to the opponent's goal. If the ball touches across the line, then it is thrown back in by the opponents. It doesn't matter if the Knights win or lose, they must always shake the opposing team's hands to show good sportsmanship. I hope you enjoy spending time with us today. We will see you next time on Teach, Teach You How to Play. play.